What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another AEW action figure review, and it is a two-in-one on one of each from the Unrivaled line and the Unmatched line, even though the articulation and everything is the same. You guys know we do have the gold base packaging and the silver base packaging, but this is the AEW Unrivaled Collection Walmart exclusive CM Punk and Adam Hangman page review. You guys can obviously tell which one has been longer because this CM Punk is number 89 in the Unrivaled line, and this Hangman is number 33 in the Unmatched collection, but both of them are hitting retail right now. You can find them at your local Walmarts. My area is finally starting to get both of these. I'm very excited to get into the review, but we have two different Walmart exclusives right here. CM Punk in the trunks. Very easy to get compared to the Chase Edition, which is also in trunks. Or CM Trunks, if you want to call them that, but you got Adam Page here. Basically just a repaint, and then you do have CM Punk here in the trunks. New head sculpt, beautiful looking hoodie. Can't wait to crack them out of the box. But you have your standard Unrival packaging over here and then you have your standard unmatched packaging but you guys will notice at the top right here they do feature a walmart sticker so you have the only at walmart save money live better and then over here you do have the same thing there so that's pretty cool to see on the cm punk and hangman figures anyways man spinning them around you do have their names down the side here we mentioned their numbers on the sides right there got an image of punk and hangman on the back you do have images of both talents there that's not even this figure that's the unmatched series four and his jeans are darker signatures on there of course not much more going to it on the other side you get the AEW logo and that pretty much wraps up the packaging for our Walmart exclusive AEW figures man but let's crack them out of the packaging take a look at them on the rotating base and see what they're all about so here's CM Punk and Adam Hangman Page out of their packaging, spinning round and round. And I'm liking what I'm seeing thus far. I do have my gripes, of course, as I do with every single figure we ever review, right? Everybody says I nitpick the hell out of these figures. Well, Brad, I just think that some things are unacceptable. And I think that sometimes, especially with these price increases, man, I want you to get your money's worth. And I want you to know about every single thing that's wrong with these figures and everything that's great about these figures. And I want you to get the most quality possible and know exactly what you're getting into when you purchase these figures. Also, why is the god dang exposure on my camera so high? I don't know. The mysteries of the MDT action figure channel. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and take a look at Adam Hangman Page's accessories and Adam Hangman Page, and then we'll come back and look at Punk's accessories and CM Punk, simply because Hangman shouldn't take us that long, as it's just a repaint, but let's shut the hell up and get into it, shall we? So getting into Hangman's accessories, man, you get the same exact accessories that you get with the Unmatched Series 4. We do get an AEW World Championship, which we've seen a bunch of times, right? We've seen this on many, many occasions. I don't think I have to dive into to it. It always looks good. Uh, I've, I've accumulated quite a, quite a collection of these now, so that's pretty cool. We also have the picture right here, which looks good. It's got good texturing. I don't know if this is the exact same picture we've seen, but it does have some texturing on it. You got the nice little clear plastic going on. Picture of Biz Soda going on, and you also get your uh, little shot glass, which I feel like the plastic looks different compared to the other times we've seen this. I could be wrong, but you get your shot glass or your whiskey glass, whatever you want to call this, and then you do get your pitcher and then for your interchangeable hands you do have your shooter hand right there for the right hand which we've seen multiple times and then out of the packaging it comes with your standard grip holding hands and that is it for hangman it's just your the same accessories we've seen before not a lot of difference so getting into hangman starting out at the top of the head same smiley head we saw on his unmatched series 4 figure i actually like this head sculpt i feel like it's not as clean as the unmatched series 4 like i feel like my unmatched series 4 was better like you guys can see it's got some like cleanliness problems but going down to the shirt same like cowboy western shirt mold but it does have like like roses and green and red and white going on instead of just the traditional black and white we saw with the Unmatched Series 4. You also have it on the cuffs there. I love this sculpt. I thought that the shirt looks really, really good on the Unmatched Series 4. It looks really good here with all the coloring and the sculpting and the, the wrinkles and stuff like that. Figure actually has a good ab crunch as well, but I like the colors. I like the colors going on. I think I do prefer the black and white version over this, but I, I do like it as like a change of scenery. You do have the great big belt buckle on there, same as before. The jeans look the same color. They're coming off a little bit more saturated on camera or a little bit more blue I guess on camera than they are in real life I think. Love these pants. I love the, the articulation that they give us here. They're not pinless or anything but you do have your ostrich skin boots which look really good as well. I mean it's basically just the Unmatched Series 4 but it is repainted which we already knew about coming in but I like this figure man and I had no problems with a repaint. You guys know how they do. But let's get into some Adam Hangman page figure comparisons. So for your Hangman figure comparisons here's the Unmatched Series 4 on the left. You have the Series 5 on the right and then on the far right you do have 
have the unrivaled series number two and not including the chase which i do have it's just not loose i do have it mint on card but this one is looking pretty good outside of all of this i still I, I like all these you know I i'm a big fan of adam page i think he's great i think all these figures look good in their own ways you get three different head options here you can make a shirtless versions with one of these if you wanted to you could put these head sculpts on here to give make them pissed off or angry i mean a lot of good stuff going on right here man I, i'm really enjoying it but here is the big comparison because these are the exact same figure just repainted as you guys can see by the shirt pants are exact same heads the same everything is the same here except for some deco but again i think i'm team unmatched four over the walmart exclusive you guys can let me know what you think about that down below but i think that pretty much wraps up our adam hangman page so getting into cm punk's accessories i gotta get this out of the way because you know jazz wears loves their aew microphones this is dude i i need to do a video on how many god dang microphones we have seen from aew and jazz wears man they give us a microphone with like every figure that they've ever put out it is crazy the amount of microphones we have but there's another one added another one to the cm punk walmart exclusive for interchangeable hands you do get the blue tape on the white hand tape which we saw with the unmatched series 4 you got the drug free tattoos on there just a standard gripping hands with white pegs which looks good and you also have your mic holding slash weapon wielding hands that say drug free you have the blue x's on the white hand tape again and it's the same hands we saw with his unmatched series 4 figure and then you also get a cloth goods accessory which is really nice it does stain the figure i have pretty decent staining on my shoulders which i'll have to show you but it does have the aew logo right here it's just a standard aew hoodie that does stain and i don't know really how to somebody said you could wash these and it'll get all the staining out and it'll never stain again i don't know if it'll hold up i may just wash a handful of accessories that stain just to see what happens and then you know if i, if I lose them i lose them if they get damaged they get damaged but the pockets look really good in here they're not necessarily operational but at least the stitching's there you have nice cuffs on here cool little hood it does velcro of course and this is a nice accessory i just wish it didn't stain it's a very nice accessory you could put this on so many different guys i mean i guess anybody because i'm sure everybody in the company has probably worn a hoodie or jacket like this in their career at some point backstage but i like this accessory a lot and i guess if you didn't really want to put it on a figure for display and it keeps staining and you can't stop the staining issue you could just throw it in your crowd or, or do something else with it but i mean maybe you could even hack the sleeves off you even make like a sleeveless vest hoodie i don't know but this is a very nice accessory and it throws the walmart exclusive cm punk over the top but that does it for your accessories i hope we can stop the staining issue at some point but that does it for the walmart exclusive cm punk's accessories so getting into cm punk starting out at the head sculpt i don't know if i like it as much man he's got that slight smirk going on i just like it this just looks like nico from gta 4 again it's just him smirking this time we're gonna take a look at the comparison but i remember the comment i don't remember who said it but i remember on that the the cm punk unmatched series 4 on the review that guy commented this cm punk figure looks like he wants to go bowling with his boy roman in liberty city or his cousin roman in liberty city i still cackle at that comment to this day man so that was an iconic comment but you do get a different head sculpt on this guy going down you do have the, the i don't know if you guys can see it but you do have the cobra tattoo but you do see like some slight staining you can't see it as much as you do in person but it's there man it is definitely there you got your chest tattoos you got all this going on do have his pepsi logo over there the trunks look nice this is the iconic trunks this is the trunks we wanted to see and we got it so i know a lot of people are going to be really excited about that to have the cm trunks got the white tape you guys can just see kind of that looseness right there in the arm i don't know why they do that man i'll go over the articulation so i can explain like that that stuckness like just this arm's not as bad but you can still hear it like good god man i'm telling you the unrivaled figures they'll just go brr, 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 and you can't even hear it i don't know do have the tattoos over the tape still trying to get that right with cm punk but got some nice that he doesn't look near as skinny with the skin tone thighs i could say that with the with the knee pads on here with actual skin tone on the legs he doesn't look near as skinny figure does look a bit weird though i will say like standing far back i'll show you guys in just a moment but you do have your chicago flag stars you got the knee pads solid black kick pads still hate this kick pad mold because i just think it looks awful it's the sammy guevara style not a fan of that i think the kenny omega style is the way to go but backing this up you guys can see just the i guess the just proportions look a bit odd with this figure like how the legs look and stuff like that i mean i may be overplaying it but you guys can let me know but guy's got good ab crunch in here he can look down and up he doesn't have long hair so that helps this arm's a lot better than this arm 
do get your diaphragm move side to side you got ball joints so you can do a crazy reminds me of that dennis rodman toy biz figure if anybody in the shout out to that figure upper thigh cut you do have a double jointed knee you get the lower kick pad and you do have the ankle rocker i don't know i definitely like it better than the unmatched series 4 just because i prefer the trunks it just looks this figure looks weird to me I, I i really can't explain it but let's get into our figure comparisons so for your figure comparisons for the cm punk figure here is my unmatched series 4 that we turned into the chase in our video i think i'm gonna get another one and i'm gonna take another walmart exclusive and switch to kick pads so i'll have a standard one and then i'll have one with the actual kick pads that match the trunks just to kind of give them a different look there i think that'd be pretty bad a eh? you could even paint it up and make it the elite 16 if you added some white details in there which i think would also be fire but here's another elite 16 with a shirt on and then you have like yeah you guys can see the differences there and the you know whatever but i still think the elite 16 is probably the best cm punk ever made probably i think so but i still like them all together i think the aew versions are pretty cool can't wait for more in the future i think this one's more accurate in height i feel like they made the the walmart exclusive a little bit too tall here and i think you guys could see yeah i think it's because these legs are different look these are the uh these are the Stu grayson legs and these are the regular cm punk legs and this looks better to me i think it just gives it a little bit better aesthetic look but nonetheless that is your cm punk figure comparisons man you got the unmatched four walmart exclusive elite 16 stock and then the elite 16 with different kick or different knee pads and then the shirt added but i think that pretty much wraps up this two in one aew unrivaled action figure review of cm punk and adam hangman page the walmart exclusives that are hitting retail shelves just about now i mean you can get these guys i i have found them on multiple occasions now it has been epic we found them on a toy hunt yesterday if you guys are going to want to go check that out i'd greatly appreciate it but i enjoy both figures i think this is the cm punk a lot of people want it i love that it's a walmart exclusive i think if you can't find the unmatched series 4 hangman this is a great alternative i don't think it feels as good in the hand as the unmatched series 4 did you know i feel like the unmatched series 4 felt a little bit better in hand for whatever reason i could not describe that the way they made the cm punk and the and the like some of these figures feel immaculate in hand and then some of them just feel completely tight and like way too bent up and they they feel like they can break and they're ratchety if that makes any sense and then sometimes they feel like butter smooth and it kind of feels like the unmatched collection has a problem with being stiff and the unrivaled collection is a lot more smooth is what i've discovered at least in my time with these figures can anybody relate to that i just feel like the unrivaled figures are a lot more smooth the joints feel better and then the unmatched is more like a kick 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 like ratchety feeling and tightness and they they kind of feel like they get loose over time and the unrivaled while they're both i still both consider them unrivaled quote unquote figures kind of similar to elite figures and then you have your supreme figures which are equal to ultimates if that makes sense for you know mattel i don't know man let me know what you guys think but i like this cm punk i think this is the better of the two or three i guess now cm punks but this is basically the chase cm punk with an additional aew hoodie and the sticker on the packaging i mean that's that's pretty good you do get your trusty microphone but i like these figures man and I, i'm still rocking with the with the full men on court set and loose set and we're still rocking along i enjoy them let me know your thoughts on the cm punk let me know your thoughts on the hangman i think i prefer the black and white hangman shirt to the floral design but anyways man i'm getting out of here thank you guys so very much for watching before we get out of here let's get into a random shout out and this shout out's gonna go to alex ogilvy and this man was playing 5d chess this man said from our toy hunt yesterday i was talking about these four anna j's at my target that nobody has bought and i told him that i wanted to buy them but i wanted to see if they would put out new figures and he said buy the anna figures see if they put out new ones keep the annas in the box and return them to get the money back and i was like dude that is straight up genius i never even considered that not even didn't even think of that that is absolute genius level and i think that's probably what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna go to target i'm gonna buy all four anna j's see if they put out unmatched series four or, or some other aew figures and then go back return the anna j's and then i guess use the gift card or whatever they give me for the anna j's the money that i got for the anna j's and put them towards whatever aew figures they do give me pretty genius stuff right there man pretty genius stuff but that pretty much wraps up today's video man thank you for watching huge shout out to alex for that i thought that was genius and it deserved the random shout out but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one and i'll see you guys in the in the future you cross the line.